Hi, I'm Yolanda, and today I'm making a Dominican cake trifle. I've already prepared the batter for the Dominican cake. You can find the recipe on how to make Dominican cake following the link in the information section of this video. There you will also find the tutorials on how to make dulce de leche and whipped cream. For this cake I'm using a baking tray which has already been lined, greased and floured. Start by pouring and spreading the batter on the tray. For this cake I made one pound of batter. Continue to spread and even out the batter. Be sure that the batter has been spread and more or less leveled on all sides. We will then take the tray to the oven that has been preheated for almost 15 minutes at a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 30 minutes in the oven, here is the cake. It's already done. After being out of the oven for almost 10 minutes, now I'm going to cover the cake with plastic wrap. This will create moisture and the cake will be very soft. Just fill in the cake to see if it needs some simple syrup. When the cake is hard, you should pour over some simple syrup. But this cake is fine. Now it's time to remove the cake from the tray and put it aside. So here I have all my components to start making my trifle. I have my cake, my dulce de leche, as you can see, it's a little runny, that's how I want it. And I also have my whipped cream. I have the jars which have been cleaned and sterilized to put the dessert in. So let's start by putting in some meringue. You do not need this meringue. I just use that uh, because they are a little crunchy and I like to fill that in my dessert, but you do not need this. So we are going to put a layer of dulce de leche. Then on top of that, we are going to put a piece of cake and then the whipped cream. It doesn't need to be in that specific order. You could put first the whipped cream, whatever you want to do. You don't need the same order that I just put the, the components in. Be sure to keep this dessert in the fridge because the whipped cream needs to be refrigerated. So therefore you should keep it in the fridge. Okay, and I'm just going to finish up with whipped cream. And now we are going to cover. I'm going to put the lid on it and cover it and tighten it and put it in the fridge. On to the next jar. And remember, you do not need these pieces of meringue. This time, I am going to put first the cake, then the dulce de leche, and then the whipped cream.
If you are going to use the dulce de leche as a filling for your cake, you should make it a little thicker than this. I will continue the process until I have filled in all the jars. Let me also say that you should not limit yourself to these three components to do a trifle. You could do this also using uh, strawberries, any type of fruits that you want to mix with the cake and the whipped cream or the dulce de leche, you can do that as well. These desserts in these jars like this make a great gift as well. And this is the final product. This has been all for today. I hope that you learned something. Please share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you back here next time with another tutorial. In the meantime, God bless you all.